Hello everyone. We have new circuits here. These are our four new transistor circuits. Two LED circuits and two LED flasher. What is the circuit? Let us see the circuit here. The circuit of this one is this. This is a transistor circuit. Design, no pull down resistor. This is just an ordinary normal transistor circuit. This one. And this is our previous project. We already know that the current flows here to the collector and to the emitter also here switching the transistor in saturation mode making the transistor conducts in saturation mode turning on the LED here and we computed all the values of the resistor here so this is our previous project and the circuit of this one is this transistor circuit open base uh, this is also our previous projects uh, we are now reversing the position of our voltage supply from negative part to positive here to the emitter and collector is ground this is also our previous projects we know that this is the normal way of uh, making a transistor circuit but here in this circuit this is different instead of uh, applying the positive terminal to the collector side we are now reversing the polarity of the battery and applying it to the emitter side open base and collector grounded so that is the our previous project here the other way of making LED flash uh, LED circuit here this one and we have a new circuit here they call it uh, an Isaki oscillator so in our previous circuit this we are just connecting a co capacitor here between the resistor and an LED. Almost the same and it becomes and they call it a Saki oscillator. So current flows from here to the LED and to the capacitor. Charging the capacitor and the LED still is torn off and now the time that the capacitor is discharging it will turn on the LED through the LED and then charging again the capacitor making the LED turn off and then discharging also the capacitor so this is the discharging effect charging, discharging, charging, discharging making this LED blinker flasher that's an Isaki oscillator and uh, we find the time constant of this circuit oscillator here that is time constant resistor in ohms capacitor is in farad time constant is in second unit so we have here one kilo ohms we have computed computed that here from our previous projects. One kilo ohm here, and we have this one thousand microfarad capacitor. We are using one thousand microfarad capacitor, converting it to farad, and then come. Uh, According to mathematical expression here, we get here one one thousand is one times ten cubes. Then minus six plus three becomes three 
becomes 1 times 10 cube, 1 times negative 10 cube, 1 second. That's it, the time constant of the circuit. So it takes 5 times constant to fully charge the capacitor, but it charges and discharges so quickly because the that is the effect of uh, the negative resistance of the circuit here. See? Well, the features of this circuit is only works on 12 volt supply. So, uh, in this circuit, we can only use 12 volt supply to make an Isaki oscillator. Isaki is the inventor of this design. And that is this just like a simple LED flasher using only capacitor, a resistor, and an LED. And uh, must have at least 40 volts breakdown voltage. The capacit the transistor use NPN VJT only. So um, the transistor I use here is 222A and it has 40 volts breakdown voltage. So that is the effect of the breakdown voltage. A negative resistance here. And now an oscillating frequency is happening here because of this negative resistance phenomenon of the circuit. Charging here, discharging, charging again, discharging, charging, discharging, on up, on up, just like that. And we have parts here voltage supply, resistor, LED, transistor. So this is a famous Esaki oscillator. And now for this third circuit, I found out that this is my old project, a transistor LED flasher. So an Isaki oscillator and a transistor LED flasher is the same. It's the same LED flasher and of the same the same circuit here let us see the circuit this is an old project 12 volts 1 kilo ohm LED transistor B B is open the emitter is connected to the LED collector is grounded we have also capacitor here 1000 microfarad 16 volts also have parts here I'm using a transistor C1815 that is the blinking characteristics of that transistor this is uh, 222A let us check the two circuit this one is using the same capacitor and the same voltage supply and the resistor this is using C1815. Here it's using 2228. Both have the same circuit, different transistor, and different blinking characteristics. See? Have the same value of capacitor. This circuit can be modified or it can be redraw in this fashion. Since this is uh, my old project, it's so rough and uh, rugged. A lot of comments here. But uh, when you trace the current here, close here to the 1 kilo ohm, just like here, current flows here to the 1 kilo ohm. And there's a node here, then charging the capacitor here, just like here. Node here, charging the capacitor here. And then here, discharging the capacitor through the LED into the transistor here, emitter to collector, collector is grounded, discharging the capacitor here, just like here, discharging the capacitor to the LED and transistor. So these two are identical but with different transistor use, that's why it blinks differently. So this is a 
Isaki Oscillator our new design and this one is a transistor LED flasher they call it or LED flasher and Isaki Oscillator are the same transistor LED flasher is the same as Isaki Oscillator when they are just using transistor an LED and a capacitor they are connected this way this is my old project this is my new design and it so happened that it's the same the Isaki oscillator is the same as transistor LED flasher so that's our new circuit and thank you for watching the video Bye-bye.